This video will show you how to set up your Arhav appliance. First you plug in your LAN cable and then your power cable and then your Arhav appliance will turn on and it will use DHCP to automatically find an IP address. Wait for the ready light to come on. Then after the Arhav appliance is running you can go to the browser and uh, go to http colon slash slash my online meeting. Click the web conferencing server management link. Log in with admin password and you can go to your IP settings. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you'll see that we've already chosen an IP address for you. You should verify that your subnet mask and default gateway are correct. And verify your DNS servers. You can use the Google DNS servers shown. Now you should figure out what your external IP address is. You can go do a search for my IP address. These sites will tell you what your external IP address is. So we're just going to copy that and then paste that into the public IP address for this Arab appliance. Alternatively, if you know your public IP address will change, you can use DynDNS and uh, DynDNS will recognize when your IP address changes and then you can just use the host name you see there uh, to refer to your ARB appliance. You can click the provided link to create your own dynamic DNS host name. This link will take you to the DynDNS website. Now we're going to show you how to do the port forwarding in your, your router. You need to port forward for three ports, and they are port 80, port 443, and port 8889. For the application, you can specify any name. So you port forward from port 80 to port 80 using TCP, and you forward to the internal IP address of your ARB appliance. Now we port forward to port 443 using TCP. And then we forward for port 8889 using TCP. And then save those changes. And so now your our appliance should be available from the outside world. There is a good site called portforward.com that basically lists hundreds of, of routers, so it will tell you how to do port forwarding for all of these routers. Sometimes it's easiest to just search for your router, um, so we'll do that. Oh, there happen to be two routers like that. On this page, choose any of these software applications. And uh, so the portforward.com website will show you each of the steps you need to do to do port forwarding in your router. And you can see this is the page that we updated.